Yes. The party hat. Do I put that on before I read the task? I don't, I? I don't know yet. Mm. Make the best Christmas cracker. You have ten minutes to order your materials and twenty minutes to make your Christmas cracker. Hoo hoo hoo! The time starts now. Okay. These are the bits of crap that I've received over the years in a cracker. Tiny, tiny screwdrivers. Mm -hmm. Tiny tape measures. Little torch. Mm -hmm. Just going to shout out the voices. <laughs> you went into a trance? <laughs> well, I found a, a technique was to just try and lock out some of the worst madness. Mm. Well, I should say, Rod had his eyes shut for nine minutes, so would have, <laughs> would, would have, would have won the blinking task with that. <laughs> OK, well, should we start with Rod and Jess's crackers together? Oh, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, cos when you see it in Greg's hand, it's a totally normal-sized cracker, and then... OK, ready? Yes. Pull the cracker. One, two, three! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Taskmaster! Oh, hang on a second. Bang! Get the presents out. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, magical. Is that your hat? Inside is a lovely vanity kit for the Taskmaster, including nail file, cotton buds, and uh, little tweezers. There's your Christmas joke. You can read that. We can have a laugh. What do penguins eat for Christmas dinner? Iceberg lettuce. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's what everyone does, cos it's Christmas. <laughs> What's that? Lovely made-to-measure Christmas hat for the Taskmaster. And then he said it's essentially... It's the sort of same size as one human head plus a horse's head yeah. immediately next to it. What's that? It's a credit card. It's my credit card. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Taskmaster. There was a sense of Christmas wonder on your face throughout that I enjoyed. Oh, good. What, what was the credit card all about? I actually asked for an iPad, but then... Oh, and a puppy. And a puppy. Um... You were going to put a live puppy on? <laughs> Obvi obviously live. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> I realised I couldn't fit it into the tube, so I stole Alex's credit card. Right. Um, I think that's the nicest you've ever been to me. There were some genuinely nice touches in there. And thoughtful. I loved your personal vanity kit. Thank you. Then you went and ruined it. What? By suggesting that my head is the size of one person's normal head <laughs> plus a horse's head. <laughs> Next up is Kerry. Yes. Yes. Oh. Right. When we pull it... Mm -hmm. You have to let your bangers off at the same time. One, two, three, go! <laughs> I'm trying to get this. You've got to want it, haven't you? You've got to want it. <laughs> oh! oh. <gasps> Look! Hat. Yeah. All the prizes. We got a torch, cards, key ring, all the crap, but not in a useless size. Well done, Kerry. Thanks. Uh, maybe a little difficult to pull that uh, particular cracker. I thought you just mm. hadn't quite mastered the system mm. to get the cracker to break. And then Alex leant over to me and went, just so you know, <laughs> that's just a drain pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you knew it was just a drain pipe and you still committed to pulling that We both that thought cracker. one of us might win. <laughs> 
I like it, the idea of upscaling the rubbish gifts to, to full to size. To normal, gifts. useful nice. size. Was there a joke in there? Yes, well, yes. no. Yes. You couldn't show it because she put in two pages of A4, which was her whole Edinburgh show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Two former friends, Phil and James. <laughs> ah. mm. Mm. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Alex. Um, whoever wins the cracker will get this crown, which I think you'll find is a much higher quality crown than you usually get in the cracker. It's not in the cracker. But it's part of the cracker set. You ready? Yes. Merry Christmas! Christmas. Ooh. Can I put the crown on? Yeah, 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 sorry. Well done. There's Bisto, but you just add water to that, and then you've got gravy as well. Read it. <laughs> Why does Santa have three gardens? I don't know. Why does Santa have three gardens? None of your business. <laughs> and you wear it as a hat. Pardon? You wear this as a hat as well. What is Santa's favourite number? I don't know. What is Santa's favourite number? Twelves? Twelves. 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 Because it's elves, isn't it? Yeah. So when people say, what's your favourite number, Santa, he says twelves. <laughs> yeah, just put it on your head. There you go. Yeah. The gravy makes it stick. They both went down a very similar route here, a full Christmas. And just add water Christmas dinner. Yeah. No water needed for mine. <laughs> no, I, and a full bottle of wine, which is incredible. My one came with a fork and knife, so mine you could take outside into the woods. <laughs> well, we all love to spend Christmas <laughs> out in the woods. In one of, in one of Santa's gardens. <laughs> uh. So, I'm going to tell you this. I like providing a whole Christmas, mm. but I don't like it thrown all over the floor. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to give Phil Wang five points. <gasps> Holy Phil shit! Everyone else is very festive. Lots to commend all of them. I'm going to give them all three points. OK, three, 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 five, three. There we go. Bang. Phil Wang from... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best snowman. You're one hour. <laughs> Your time starts now. <laughs> Well, that's pretty tricky, isn't it? It's not snowing. I suppose I should check out the window to see if it started snowing. What's the weather like, Rob? <laughs> Balmy. Well, it's not going to snow in an hour, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> 11 o'clock sunny, it's 10 o'clock now. No snow today. Tomorrow, no snow. There's no snow this week. You didn't think it was going to snow, you were just messing around, weren't you? No, I thought, because it, it snowed in April this year, didn't it? Oh, yeah, so up, when Prince died and he wrote that song, it snowed in April, then he died a week later, so... Yeah, you shouldn't use that to forecast weather, that... <laughs> <laughs> it's never, ever been purple rain. Who's <laughs> uh, first? Well, I thought we'd start off with a little enthusiastic Rob Beckett again. Oh, little Rob! Uh, little eager Rob. Look at little Rob! <laughs> <laughs> right, basically, snow's out the window. I was going to get loads of marshmallows and do that, but then it's just a marshmallow man, isn't it? Will marshmallows stick together? As you sort of try to... Oh! <laughs> You've got all the marshmallows. You've got a lot, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of one. <laughs> you have to really squeeze. <laughs> Ninety seconds, Rob. No worries, mate. Thank you, Rob. I'll take that. <laughs> you pleased with that? If you're after a snowman, no. <laughs> but I thought if 
you can't make it, make something that looks like it. I think, I think it was a lovely marshmallow man, though. Yeah, I don't, well, you, if, I can't, you can't make snow, so I thought I'll just make one that looks like a snowman. If, if a child had made, a, like, a Christmas card at school and it was made out of cotton wool making a snowman, you wouldn't go look at it and go, that's not a snowman. You would say, that's a lovely snowman. Oh, yeah. no, no. I, I would kick it out of their hands and say, that's not a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, I've grouped Al and Sarah together again. Oh! Yeah. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we, I could make a mould of some kind, fill it with water, put it in the freezer. I need, like, four litres of vanilla ice cream and a bag of raisins and some wool okay. to make the scarf. Yeah? A couple of colours, please. You've got to diversify these days, haven't you? I can't remember her not being able to plant. <laughs> Look, it's a snowman. I'm going to call him Scoopy. Now, some of this is going to be the base. Jam it into the tray. Yes! And that's your snowman shape. It is. OK, carrot's too big. I've got an idea. There is some ice in here, so I'm going to add some ice to it, which will speed up its freezing process. This will help it along. There we go. OK, 40 minutes left, Al. So we're going to... Great. 35 minutes. We'll check it. We'll check it. Should have frozen solid by then. We'll take it out. Job done. <laughs> the coal buttons. Same. There he is. I don't want to come out of the box. He's lovely, isn't he? Scoopy. <laughs> I'm happy. Isn't he nice? <laughs> I said in the studio while we were watching those that um, watching Al make it is like watching Man in the middle of a breakdown. <laughs> And then I expected to be, <laughs> to be corrected when I saw the snowman be a <laughs> thing of great beauty. What I saw was a monstrous, mm. <laughs> an awful freak. <laughs> <laughs> what I see there, I see a creature in pain. <laughs> I see a Chernobyl snowman <laughs> saying, kill me, someone kill me. <laughs> I have no doubt that would make my nieces cry. No. <laughs> Is their uncle a cab driver? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I do love it, Al. It's incredible. <laughs> Sarah's? What do you think of Sarah's snowman? <laughs> um, Closer to snow. Ice cream is as close as ice is. I've, it's what, is there milk in, in clouds? <laughs> <laughs> if it has evaporated has enough big... of it, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, arguably, the cows might spill a bit of milk sometimes. Yeah, arguably. <laughs> arguably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see Scoopy again? Yes, yeah, I want to see Scoopy, Scoopy again. It's lovely. I think look. about him every day. Oh. <laughs> oh! You know what? At the end of that VT, Scoopy was still happier than Al's snowman. <laughs> <laughs> do, you want a, do you want a raisin? No. <laughs> no. You're an inspiration. There's a really lovely ice cream man. <laughs> Who's left? It's Dave and Paul. I think we'll see Dave first. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can I get a very large um, bucket and 200 packets of... Powdered potato. OK. So, yeah, as soon as you can, please. Right, I'll, I'll hurry. Oh. That's very good. Is that enough? Uh, no, that's good. That's good. The kettle is on, so if you could start getting some boiling water. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. I've got another one. Yeah, please. 
I'll be honest, it's not as white as I was hoping. It's quite yellow. It's very yellow. Smells nice, Dave. Your snowman. Do you think? School dinners. Let's try, see what this looks like. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy with that. That's all right. It's coming on, isn't it? Is there a hose anywhere? Yes, there is a hose. Is that connected? <laughs> Have you got the carrot? Would you like me to get you the carrot? I'd like the carrot, please. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I mean, earlier in today's show, I was a little concerned about your literal interpretation of some of the tasks. Steps. The big step Steps, thing. Yes. Um, yeah. You're back in the game because someone says make a snowman and you ask for mash. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Thank you. OK, uh, we're yet to see Paul Chowdhury's attempt. Would you like to see what he used? I mean, <laughs> genuinely more than anything. OK. <laughs> yes, um, can you buy me a slush puppy? What flavour? No flavour. Hi, Paul. We've got your ah, bag of ice, nice. two slush puppies, and a white teddy. Excellent. Okay. Good luck. Finally. <laughs> That's a snowman bear, isn't it? Even the expression and the tears reflects what I'm going through on the inside. <laughs> Bastard's crying, isn't it? <laughs> right at the end. The final image of a snowman was in place. He said, "The bastard's crying in it." <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's dark, mate, isn't it? No, it's dark. I'm starting to think we shouldn't be laughing at Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many questions I want to ask you, Paul. Uh, my first question is: Is everything all right? <laughs> Snow bear, isn't it? <laughs> It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. It's, a rabbit. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bear. It's a rabbit. It was power, it was powerful, wasn't it? In the room, we were we were moved. It, oh, it. and it's incredible. Look at it. <laughs> I like it. He used ice. Yeah. I was about to say, and it's something I've written down now. And thanks for backing Paul up. He has used something cold in his snowman, which is one of the traditional elements of a snowman. It's built yeah. of a cold substance. There you go. So in that regard, well done. <laughs> And I'll go further. If this was about artistry and about creating something that really moves people, <laughs> you'd have won this task. However, <laughs> um, we agreed some criteria and uh, they were, you know, it should be recognisable as a snowman. <laughs> uh, traditionally, the snowman's outdoors, like Dave's, for example. Recognisable elements, we agreed. Traditional elements. Traditional elements. Mm. Like the scarf. The carrot nose, which we provided, the yeah. eyes. <laughs> and then scale. We thought, you know, when people are making a snowman, they normally go for big. Oh, that's a big one. Big above. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in last place, Greg? <sighs> in fifth place, it's uh, Paul. <laughs> 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 Not artistically, mate, number one. In fourth place, it's Rob, because he was made out of marshmallows. Number three, Al. Oh, God, I, mean... I can't lose to that. In the drawer. <laughs> it don't look any bit like a snowman. Al's is monstrous. Uh, <laughs> second place, um, we're putting uh, the ice cream uh, Sarah. And even though it wasn't made out of cold stuff, we think that Dave made the best uh, snowman. There it is. It's done. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh oh.
It's that magic snow stuff, I think, isn't it? I think, probably. Possibly. Oh, it's still kind of growing. Mm. Make the best snow globe. You have 10 minutes to order your elements. Then 20 minutes to make your snow globe. Make the best snow globe. So what that is, is that? That's snow. That's my snow. That's for inspiration. Well, can I not have that? No, that's my snow. Well, all right. Maybe I could get a figurine of Jon Snow and put him in a snow globe. Jon Snow from Game of Thrones or from the news? May I look in the kitchen? Yes. You just come back and tell us what you found. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> OK, so I need a container. If you can, get me some chocolate snowflakes. Can I get loads of cotton wool balls, please? I need you to get me a snow globe. Get me one can of shaving cream. Some pipe cleaners. One condom and one massive balloon. Get some face meat. What are you talking about? Um, just some ham that has, a, like, a face printed on it. <laughs> Who are we going to see first? We're going to start with two of the others. We're going to start with Lisa. Yeah. And I think, if you don't mind, Tim Vine. Uh, yeah, OK. Yeah. OK, here we go. Now, I've picked this, because it might work a treat. Let's see, anyway. <coughs> Let's get on with it. These are the elements. I'm going to take my hat off. I just don't even know how this is going to work. I mean, already, it's screaming Christmas at me. <laughs> in with the snow. How much is going in? All of it. Don't you think? Yes. And we're going to have ourselves a party. Uh-oh. He's wearing um, green gloves. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding the sledge. He's bringing the sledge home. This, obviously, I'm hoping will create the effects I'm after. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there it is. It's like a, a showbiz sandstorm. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. Right, OK, away you go. There he is, that's the sledge. Can we turn it off and see how the snow falls? Yes. It's nice, isn't it? And everywhere you look, he's left elements of his smile. Would you just hold that for a minute? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Bye! Um, so, what was the creature that you put into a blender? <laughs> no, it was a snowman. It's a snowman. In, wearing green gloves. Or with an absolutely banging pair of green breasts. <laughs> <I reckon>. <laughs> <laughs> Breasts tend to be more in the centre like that. They were like... I'm, I'm from the Midlands. Right. <laughs> I actually thought yours was beautiful. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. They're really oh. en enchanting. <laughs> yours wasn't. Yours was just like the awful Christmas Armageddon. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, next up, it's Alice and Asim. I can't wait for the condom. Happy Christmas! <laughs> I'm going to start with the like. Oh, don't worry. We'll get those later. I need to make my snow. Add a bit of rice. OK, we've got our snow. Wise man two. I'm quite pleased with that. This has got a little bit sweatier than I'd like. Doesn't have the desired effect that I was going for. So we're going to stick with balloon, I think. OK, guys? OK. John Snow in there. Oh, it's going to pop. Oh, shit, it's actually blowing it up. Oh, fuck. It's gone down. Do you see how they've just got so much more personality now? Like, you really buy into it now, don't you? Oh, my God, that's so nice. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor John Snow's shrouding in the cream right now. I mean, you can't... <laughs> you can't really see him. But this is a John snow globe. There's two John Snows in this snow globe. I think you should look at it from outside the snow globe. Are we 
a nice timer there, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's two John Snows there. <laughs> You need to look into the snow globe through yep. the bowl so that you're getting the full snow globe experience. Shake the snow globe when you're ready. You mean the room? <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is the water. But it's... Oh, it's windoline. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. All right, so I'm happy with this snow globe, but I wanted to just do my plan C just to give it a... just a neater thing, so I thought... Plan C? Like, yeah. Got a little bit on there. I want to start with the face, mate. I mean, <clears throat> what's going on, mate? Uh, so they were the three wise men. They had gold prawns and couscous. They did. <laughs> Why not? We don't bring know it up that's not true. Why not bring it up to date? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the double snow. It's just when condoms start getting involved I in. know. And when, you know, cream started getting pumped back out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Who's next? Now we're going to see my favourite TV drama set in the South Coast yachting community. It's Howard's Way. <laughs> Russell Howard's Way. <laughs> Here it is. I got you all the things you asked for. Yeah, I mean, they're bigger than I wanted. It's not ideal, is it, mate? Well, that's the fattest Santa you could have got. Thank you. And I've got this glue gun, which is exciting. I could glue gun this to the table. To the table. And then sort of shake it. So, Santa, elves, you two. She looks all right. There it is. What's your first thought? It's, it's the right. biggest snow globe I've ever sh shook. It's a lovely scene. Does it just build it up? Yeah, yeah. This feels like a sort of an Amish sex ritual. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, Bonanza. Oh, quite a tiring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. Famous for their sex ritual. <laughs> I don't know if they're famous for it, but I imagine there must be an Amish bloke out there who has a sex ritual, and I'll be damned if it doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see all five, and then you can judge them? Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, one. here are see. images of all of them together. Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> what I'm judging this on is which one would make my nieces cry the quickest. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just give me the prize. Okay, last place first. I wonder if it might be an exploding cream balloon <laughs> with a model of Jon Snow in it. That's my instinct, Aston. Two Jon Snows. One point. Um, <laughs> Tim analysis. I'm going to give them both three points because um, they're very inventive, but they're ultimately a nightmarish vision of Christmas <laughs> okay. that would make small children cry. Okay. I appreciate that. And I'm going to give four points to Lisa. Okay. But as it is, the most traditional and effective snow globe, it's only a little Russell Howard. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> OK, Very good. So we're two rounds in. I'd like to see the scores, please, Alex Horn. We have an early leader, of course, and that leader is... <gasps> it's Tim Vine again. Yeah. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>